It's really a pleasure to have you back here. I'm your host Abhay Wadwa. Uh, this is uh, the first premiere show of season five, and I'm thrilled to host again one of my favorite guests, an erudite scholar of sound and therapy who has uh, dedicated most of her life um, helping uh, people heal, get get into better selves, uh, and by using sound and related modalities. Uh, so please join me in welcoming Mandara Cromwell. She's based in Georgia. We would spend the next 50 odd minutes uh, discussing her work and uh, her modalities uh, that she's been utilizing for uh, helping people. Thank you, Abe. It's great to be here with you and all of the people who are watching. So what we're going to talk about today is a network of communication, not just, and so I'm telling you that I discovered it through art and architecture, and it led me to believe that when I um, traveled to India and studied Ayurveda and the teachings there, that there is this very definite communication of an inner network that we need to pay attention to. And so these are known as the five sheaths or the five layers of being. We all have them. Um, in the ancient tradition of Ayurveda, they're known as the five koshas, but they're simply put as that we have a physical body and subtle bodies. And researchers today are validating this knowledge. We're finding this everywhere in our science that through these ancient traditions of uh, the Vedic sciences and Chinese medicine, these systems that have been around for thousands of years, today science is now validating, maybe in their own vocabulary, but the principle, the concept is the same. And so the researchers today are validating this knowledge of the five layers of being. They are discovering that there's a life force field connecting our physical and subtle bodies. I have people all the time that ask me, what will sound do for you fill in the blank? For their injury, for their cancer, for their autoimmune system, for their mother's dementia, their father's uh, Parkinson's, you know, what will sound do for this? And so I wanna make it clear that my belief is that sound is the foundational fiber in our inner network. I am sharing this information with you um, from my perspective. My goal in this presentation is to introduce you to the body's communication system known as the five layers of being or the five sheaths. And this has been known, as I have said earlier in the presentation, through Ayurveda for thousands of years. And we're just now reconnecting with those ancient traditions in our, our modern sciences is validating this. So in my research and clinical observations, I began examining the difficulties that people were having with their health and their quality of life through this lens of the five bodies. I don't always um, introduce them to this connection. Okay, so she's not seeing patients, but she's looking at what are, what are the genes expressing? Uh, what does normal tissue look like? What does malignant tissue look like? She said that half of the secret is outside the cell. We keep looking on the inside of the cell to see what's the cancer cell doing there, but it's really the micro environment and the tissue architecture that are the ultimate regulator of the cellular function. So basically she's saying, back, you know, to, to link to my, my previous slide of how we have this human pattern, how we have this um, five layers of being. And she is looking at a very microscopic view of our, our physical possibility. So here she's looking at the tissue architecture on the left side of your screen, you see a normal cell, and then you see the malignant cells. She found that both cells have the exact same components, except the difference is that the malignant cells have five to six times more 
she asked, how are they getting the messages to upregulate like this? So I asked, where in the five layers of self would a person experience this miscommunication? So her hypothesis, brilliant. If tissue architecture and context are the message, then tumor cells with abnormal genomes should be capable of becoming normal if the architecture is restored. She's talking about the five layers of self in, in my view. In 2016, there was some marital distress and his wife initiated a divorce. In 2017, he lost his job to a younger team member. And the because he was just about to lose his insurance company uh, uh, insurance policy through his company, um, he went for a checkup. And the reason what really prompted him to do this was also because he was having the uh, symptoms of trouble urinating, sexual dysfunction, and, and pain. And his results were that he had uh, prostate cancer. So George. Uh, confided that he stopped exercising and he began drinking to be able to cope with this stress and that he bounces between anger and depression. He has no energy. He's, you know, fatigued all the time. And he's feeling pretty angry at being abandoned by his family and the people in his life. When we look at George in his uh, physical body, sexual dysfunction and pain, the vital energy body, uh, he's not really supporting himself by the, the drinking and the lack of exercising. And I totally understand that he doesn't feel like it. And this is a coping mechanism. And you know what? It's okay. When we look at the five layers, uh, he's leaking here. This is not really helping him. It's actually depleting him. You know, he's because of this, he's been abandoned uh, by his body and he and his family. Because of his weak connection, maybe he, um, if he was seen an Ayurveda practitioner, which in this case he was not, um, he would um, begin um, maybe some breathing exercises and maybe some singing or chanting or, or prayers. Then, of course, he's, um, you know, really feeling a loss of connection in his bliss body. Um, he had a six-month program. His commitment was that he had to use it twice a day. So he had to sit quietly. There was no multitasking. He couldn't be on digital media. He couldn't do He just needed to sit quietly. So this is the commitment. We um, asked him to imprint water for drinking. And... Um, we asked him to do our Soundflower Experience Meditation, which is just a short seven-minute meditation. Part of the Soundflower Expensive Intensive Program, you know, we want to set ourselves up for success. So what we ask him, uh, ask everybody to do who wants to uh, really immerse themselves in like a 21-day program is to journal. And by journaling, the benefits of this is that we get to watch our thoughts. And at first... Um, George was pretty resistant to this. He's kind of angry that he had to do this. And, but he said that by the end of the month, he kind of surrendered to the exercise. In the second month, he made some positive changes to his diet and he was drinking less. His friends comment that George is a changed person. His children even like being with him. His daughter says that he's less angry and more fun to be with. So there's a whole, you know, I'm just giving you the snippets of this case so you can see the, the reconnection.